what is up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video so today's video is actually going to be a playlist it's going to be this is going to be the first video of a playlist where you are going to learn everything you need to know about react navigation how you can move between screens how you can pass params between screens etc so basically everything you need to know about react navigation we are going to be learning this in this playlist so in this first video, what we are specifically going to focus on is how to move between screens, basically move from one screen to the other. So that's what we are going to be focusing on in today's video. So if that sounds interesting, do well to hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe to this channel and let's grow this channel together to make these videos reach more people so that they learn this tech stuff. If you do that, I'm going to appreciate it a lot. So let's move right into the video. So we have this Expo app here. So I run this with Expo, React Native with Expo. And with Expo, when you build a React Native app with Expo, this is the first thing you are going to see, this app.js file containing this um, this text here. So open up app.js to start working on your app. So if you see this, then it means you've successfully installed a, an Expo project. So yeah, that's all we have here. And also I've gone ahead to add in some screens, right? So I have a folder here called screens and I've added a home screen and then a detail screen. So in the home screen, it's just a simple text here saying you are welcome with a button here with the title of details. And then in the detail screen, we have another text here saying this is the details and then a button here with the title home. So the goal here is to be able to route between these two screens, right? So if you are on the home screen and you hit the button with the title home, sorry, if you are on the detail screen and you hit the button with the title home, it should route you to the home screen, right? The same way if you are on the home screen and you hit on the button details, it should route you to the details screen. Great. So first thing we want to do now is Let's move back to into the app.js file and then let's open our browser and then go to react navigation. We are going to click the first link here to view the documentations we have over there. So read docs and then let's head over to hello react navigation. Okay. So here, the first thing we want to do is to install the react navigation native stack. So let's go back to VS code, open our terminal. And then I'm going to split this terminal and I'm going to paste in the command here. So this is going to go ahead and install the React navigation for us that we're going to use. Okay, so while that's, that is installing, inside the app.js file, we want to import these packages, right? We want to import navigation container and then create native stack navigator because we are going to be needing them to set up our stacks and set up our navigations so i'm going to paste them in here and then the first thing we are going to do now is to initialize the stack so i'm going to say const stack is equal to i'm going to use this create native stack navigator here to just initialize the stack value so within the app dot the app components instead of having this view and this dummy text we have over here in the simulator i'm going to clear it i'm going to clear it and i'm going to paste in the navigation container and this navigation container is going to be a wrapper that's going to wrap all our navigations and then the next thing is the stack dot navigator right so this stack dot navigator is going to hold all our screens in the stack so the first screen we are going to add is the home screen. So to add the screen, I'm just going to say stack dot screen like so. And then we can, it's not, uh, so it's just a self-closing tag. So we can do it like so. And then we add in some props. The first prop we want to add is the name. So the name of that screen is going to be home. We are going to be adding the home screen. And then we need to add a component which is going to render the screen. So the components we are going to be using is the home screen. So I'm just imported it from the home screen here. We have home screen imported from screens and then home screen. So as you can see here, this is the home screen we have here. So in the home screen, like I said earlier, we have you are welcome and then this button saying details. 
okay that's exactly what we have here you are welcome and then details now the goal here is when you click on this details button we want it to route to the details screen right we want it to route to the details screen so this means that we need to add the details screen to the stack okay every screen at all you want to be in the navigation you, you have to make sure that that screen is within the navigation container or within the navigation stacks so the next one we want to add is the detail screen so let me copy this and let me just duplicate this bring it down here and then the type the name is going to be details and the component is going to be details screen so i've just imported the details screen as well so now this component is also in the stack now the arrangements really matters because since we have the home screen on as the first component that's going to be the first screen that's going to be displayed so for instance if i bring the detail screen on top of the home screen it's going to appear instead of the home screen so let me refresh let me refresh the app for it to good so as you can see here since i changed the stack and refresh the, the app in the terminal we now can now see the, that the detail screen since it's on top is the first screen that's going to be displayed so it's basically the first screen the user is going to see but that's not what we want we want it to show the home screen first so i'm going to bring this back to where it was like so and then i'm going to restart it in the terminal great so now let's let's achieve our goal which is to move to the detail screen where we click the details button here so let's head over to the home component or the home screen we have here and then now once you add a screen to the navigation container it gets a prop here called navigation that we can use to move between screens now this prop is going to help us move between screens and we're going to see how we can do that so in the button component here i'm going to add an, an on press comp um, event here so i'm going to say on press we're going to add this function so I'm going to say navigation dot navigate and then sorry navigation dot navigate and then we are going to add the name of the route we want to add. Forgot to bring in the brackets in here and then I'm going to close this, clear this one as well. Okay, so we are going to say navigation dot navigate and then the name of the screen you want to navigate to. So the name of the screen we want to navigate to if we come back to the stack is the detail screen right we want to move to the detail screen so we are going to say navigation dot navigate details so now when i click on the details here it's going to move me to the detail screen as you can see so now we are on the detail screen and now we have this home which is going to be the um the the previous screen right so that's why you have the back button here with the home here because the home is now the previous screen and now what the next thing we want to do now is to route to the home screen when we click on this home button right now it's not we haven't done that so we're going to add the function here so let me copy this on press events here again and then open the detail screen component and add it here now we need to input this um initialize the navigation prop so i'm going to say navigation and then instead of routing to the details we're going to say home because that's the screen we want to route to so now when we go back so on the detail screen when we click on the home button here it should route us back to the home screen so when i click on the home we are back to the detail screen as we want exactly so on the details it takes us to the home and then on the home it takes us to the details screen so this is it this is how we can simply easily route to different screens it's as simple as this and if you are looking to implement this in your app you can go ahead and do that add your screens and then make sure you have set them up correctly in the stack navigation and you can easily route between these screens thank you for following along with this video thanks for watching and do what to like this video if you've learned something and if you are new to this channel do what to subscribe to the channel as well catch you in the next video